morning everybody. This morning, or last night, we arrived at Elam Valley to do some night photography over the weekend. The only problem with that is it's predicted to be overcast. So and that's probably up the Swanley. But we're still living hope. We don't really know the area at all. I've drove through it once, been stopped for 10 minutes and then carried on to Pembrokeshire last year. Um, so we re really don't know the area. So again, it's a, it'll be a scouting mission as well. Um, got a couple of places I wouldn't mind visiting as we drive around if we've got time. It's drizzled all night so that means it's been overcast all night very very dark we've come this time of the year because it's a new moon um, but um, like I say it's, uh, the weather's not on our favour today and I don't I'm hoping it's going to break up a little bit maybe tonight a little bit I don't think it's predicted a lot but we might get something but right, guys um, can now see what's surrounding us and it's pretty impressive but it is extremely overcast so we've been no rush for a photo not yet um, I don't know the name of the the dam with um, car park that we're in so I'll have to find that out and I'll try and put it up if I remember to put it up um, but it was recommended from um, the video the blogger, a blog, blogger, yeah, Facebook page. Um, so, thanks to the guy who um, mentioned this place, it's superb, great for a night camp. Um, toilet's not open till March, so, so we've got, still got no toilet. I've actually had my breakfast, got all changed and done. Um, so, I'm going to have another cup of coffee to be honest, and um, I'll do that and then go from there and decide what we're going to do for the day because no, no Cooper today today I've got me my camera buddy I don't know you can see him in the other van um, we're on tour today camper tour um, that's um, Barry Dirt Turner Dirty Barry known as <laughs> um, don't know why. Um, so yeah, we're gonna probably go a little tour around because photography-wise, unless the mist rolls through, which would be nice, um, we're gonna struggle. We're gonna struggle, I must admit. Okay guys, first um, shoot of the morning. Um, we've just been to the visitor centre, just drove round and the lake by this um, little bridge here is very very nice and still lovely reflection so I'm hoping to get a nice image on us drive round. So I'm just going to scope this area and uh, see if we can get a cheeky morning image. Now I've got my new weapon, a new tripod, um, which I'm not used yet, but I'm extremely impressed with it. Uh, so, not that we probably need it on this shot, but I always like to use my tripod to be honest. Um, but we'll see, but we don't really need a long exposure as such because the water's at still anyway but I might might just ramp it up a little bit just to smooth any sort of ripple out so I'm going to this viewing point here 
Um, this just seems a natural place to come. The only thing that puts me off with that is, I know for a fact, because it's a viewing point, everybody's took a photo from it. Ooh. But I'm coming to have a look anyway. It just seems the natural place to come and take a photo. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. Let's see what we can come up with, I think. The silhouette of the bridge, uh, the, the reflections on the bridge are just fantastic. The only thing is, I th think it might have been better from the other side. I'm not sure if we can get the other side. Get where I want the other side, I should say. Um, but let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a couple of images. Right, guys. Uh, I managed to get a couple of images and then that breeze is just picked well slightest of breezes and it's not all the reflections out of the water so um, we've come back up to the van and we're going to have some breakfast right get cooker out now who says <laughs> Who says that we stop at a pub every time for, or a, get a big breakfast? Hey, look at this. Music. Frank Parker's bacon. I mean, this is serious stuff. We wonder you know, if we ought to use my burn, your burner for that and mine for that because this ain't full power. Is it? No. Well done. I'll turn it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> We had a little uh, tip off by a gentleman um, who's told us um, to drive this location and some pillboxes, old uh, Second World War pillboxes, and you can look down onto the the bridge where we just were doing some photography and had his breakfast. So we're going to try and find it um, and see if we can get an image looking down. Which would be nice. And here's the first one. So we're on the right tracks. whether we can get it in an open area, don't we? Yeah. And is it in the way there? The tree's in the way there, it's like them three trees, isn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's the shot. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Right, we're in, we're in. Right guys, I'll just talk you through the image. And it's quite a nice image actually. Um, I found, or Barry found, a nice little gap in the trees. 
Um, so the image, I'm just gonna, because there's a bit of mess, I'm just gonna take another one. Um, the image is the trees either side, just framing the, the, the picture. And then we're looking down on the bridge below. So you've got that lead, leading line. Then we've got the church sort of just above center of the, the image. And then above that, we've got the tree line, and then just above the tree line, there's a, a bit of mist catching the, the trees. Face the world on wheels Cross the board. 